Now, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's evening here of the 15th of September, Sunday. We've just had Boris Johnson, I've done a video of that, and talking and answering questions. Now, this is a very, very interesting conversation. The caller who used to run Port of Dover on what no deal Brexit will really mean. Well, just listen to him. It's a great information and let's hope lots of the moaning Remainers listen to it. Give me your reaction. Is, is our last caller right? Uh, no, but I can understand why he's wrong. Is that the, the, um, the food shortages in the UK, I, I think you're going to have to go out of your way to, to, be, to be delayed. In the, a, a consignment coming from Europe has a document which is then lodged at the port. You then arrive in Dover, you transit through exactly like you do today, and your import declaration, your first import declaration in the no deal Brexit environment is due at, at the end of six months. You've got six months to do the import entry. So, so honestly, you really are going to have to struggle to be even in, even in a no deal situation. That is the no deal plan. That is the no deal plan. So, in, in a no deal plan, and it, the only thing that's going to happen differently from today for flows of good flows of food from the EU to the UK is the EU exporter needs to raise an export declaration. That's it. I finished. That's the end of Brexit no deal planning. Honestly, and I, mean, I do this for a living. It, it sounds it sounds very simple. So, why are we why are we constantly regaled about warnings of all the motorways in Kent being clogged up and hours of wait? Well, there is an issue on the export side, and it will always be, the motorways will always be, if, if there are any delays in Kent, it's on the yeah. trying to get back out again. But, but the government has literally today released the a, a project we've been working on for quite, quite a few months, actually, which is uh, pop-up um, stations. There, they've got 150 pop-up stations and truck parks across the UK and Europe, where drivers can call in and have their paperwork checked so that they can approach the border border-ready so that they can proceed on their journey confident that when they hit the border they can progress through the border literally only been released this afternoon so that now that afternoon was let's have a little look at that oh september the 11th that was published they've invested in 150 pop-ups which will be manned and capable these will be all over the uk so don't come into kent unless you're border ready is the message but what 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 but what, what about all of these, um, we're, we're told that a lot of the freight transporters haven't got the right paperwork, they haven't registered to, to get the right paperwork, and therefore they might be held up. Yeah, no, I struggle with that as well. I mean, the traditional simplified procedure, which is this smooth import flow, and you do the, you do the import documentation later, um, that, only, um, that is the trader who registers, not the transporter or the freight forwarder. That's the trader, not the transporter. The importer needs to register. In, in fairness, not enough have. We, we've got a, a, a process going on at the moment where we're calling most of them and, and, and registering for them because it, it's quick, simple. In 14 days, you've got your registration number and then you can sail through and worry about your import entries next month or oh, actually next year. You haven't actually got to do anything until next year, even though all the goods are flowing in. The export is an issue in that export requires an export guarantee for the transit. That's still an issue because the, the liability that's attached to transit is a, is a major risk. And right now there aren't enough transit bond holders, but we're working hard to try to fix that and to try and underwrite the guarantee, including insuring it so that the risk... You know, at the moment you don't want to raise a document for 50 quid, but with a liability on it that could shut your company down. Right, I'll put the, the um, link into the description box because this should put a pay to concerns that are going on with some businesses or all businesses maybe they need to listen to that. So do share it and uh, so I'll say God bless, bye bye for now and this is Katania Alvin signing out.